Government has a spending problem. Now, while they reduced the federal budget deficit by almost $1.5 trillion in the last fiscal year ending on September 30th, the deficit is still at $1.4 trillion total. Now, it seems like good news or at the very least we're moving in the right direction. On the other hand, the government decision makers are already looking for ways to fill that hole. We have become accustomed as Americans to running up a deficit rather than the government not spending more than we take in. The more money the federal government spends directly correlates to how much power they have. And as we have learned from history time and time again, people in power are very reluctant to give up that power. Now, the federal government added a substantial chunk to government spending and the budget deficit came down. So how does that happen? They, they uh, add more to their spending column, but the budget deficit, the total deficit ends up coming down. The answer is pretty simple. Increased individual tax income or income tax receipts increased 29% uh, from the level in 2020. So that equates to about 1 trillion more in tax revenue. So essentially the government handed out money in 2020 in the form of economic stimulus and taxed it back into their own hands. My problem with this is that many of the people that got the stimulus really didn't need it. Uh, during the lockdown, it was a requirement for most companies to make their employees work from home. An article in the street reveals that it costs about half as much to work from home as it does to work from an office with the eating out and commuting costs on average, that's about $38 a day per American. Um, so add back in utility costs from working from home. You know, you keep your heat maybe a little higher, air conditioning lower in the summer. Um, you know, the electricity bill, using your own water for plumbing, all that stuff. Um, it, it costs about double to work from an office or rather than it does to work from home. So another quandary with this whole mess is that Americans have worked about 31 billion hours less since March 2020. So even with the unemployment now uh, pretty low, we're still about 0.1% above what we were at in February 2020, just prior to uh, COVID lockdowns. Um, we saw more than a 10% hike in unemployment in a month uh, with the shutdowns being initiated and have been trending kind of back down uh, to those February 2020 numbers ever since. So this brings me to my final point. Individual tax receipts are up 29%. Productivity is down about uh, 31 billion cumulative hours, uh, which results in less productivity to tax on. And the federal deficit is down more than half from its peak. So I amend my previous statement that I opened this hot take with, uh, that the government has a spending problem too. The government has a spending problem and a taxing addiction. If you are addicted to drugs and power is a hell of a drug, the only way of feeding it is more money. So thanks for watching. Um, uh, please subscribe and click the bell to be the first to know uh, new content comes out. And uh, as always, this does not constitute financial advice. Please consult a financial professional before making any decisions. That's it. Have a great week. Take care. You aren't an adult until you have life insurance. You might've put it off because you think it's hard to get. Well, it used to be, but not anymore. Click the link in the description below, apply in minutes, and most people are approved instantly. It's the easiest adulting you can do.